Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Europa Universalis 4 as Novgorod <clears throat> in our third Rome campaign. I do apologize. My voice is starting to go because uh, I've been playing for a while. So it's year 1500, and we are a great power. We are uh, still winning wars against Muscovy, believe it or not. We have a little bit of debt, but we're going to be figuring that situation out here in just a little bit. So, things are actually not too bad. Um, I'm going to try and incorporate Smolensk into our, into our country here pretty soon. Actually, I might kill his rebels for me because that'll give us an opinion boost. Oh shit, we got a noble plot. Fuck, we just lost some, uh, some stability. Damn. So we just won a war against Muscovy. We need to quarter that, those provinces. <clears throat> Apparently we've got an uncooperative trader, which is bad. We should not have any idle diplomats, so why don't we just fabricate some claims all over the damn place? Yes! And when can I integrate this guy? Well, you know, our diplomatic reputation is pretty bad. Hmm. It's true. I'd like a trade efficiency guy. Let's get a stability cost modifier, dude. Okay. My cat is running around my house going crazy. So we're going to be at peace right now. We need to pay off some loans. I'm going to fabricate claims probably on Kazan and Perm. And then I think we will kill both of them. The unrest might be kind of bad though. I need to attack Ryzon as well. I might attack Ryzon once I integrate Smolensk. I think we'll attack Ryzon from the Great Horde. Although he is Sunni already, which is really kind of a shame. It, he is Russian culture though, so he's actually the the basic as far as far as Russian culture is gonna get. Okay, let's see. These guys, the Orlik peoples, the Ugric peoples, Orlik. Yeah. Believe it or not, fun fact, ran, random history. You know. Tip, the Orlik peoples. Apparently, they say there's some connection to the Orlik peoples. These guys. And there's a connection between them, the Finnish, the Sami, the Karelians, and the Hungarians. They actually say there's some sort of some sort of connection between all of those groups. They don't know really what, but it's highly speculated that all of them are related in the same racial family. It's pretty cool. They all speak, uh, there's something linguistic as well. Linguistically similar about all of them, which is pretty cool. But that's like... Hundreds of years in history. We're talking like there. There's no real connections now, but in the past they might have been from the same people It's pretty cool hmm. So we got good morale we got good morale. We're, how are we doing on tech? We're behind on Diplo and Admin, which is actually pretty bad. Hmm. Colonialism spawned in England, of all places. Curious. Manpower is fucking really shitty. Oh, dear. Hmm. It's pretty crap. I've even got a national manpower girl. Is that girl or guy? Wait, is this a woman? What's, her, what's their name? Gremislava Ponsenia? Isn't that a woman? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anymore. It's kind of interesting. Maybe it's a woman. I guess it could be. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe it is a woman. I'd have to think about that. Growth of cities attracts serfs. Yeah, we have to do that. Or else you get morale of armies minus 10%, which is huge. It's huge. Let's take a look here. We're making some money. We're embargo to buy Norway. Let's go and fabricate a claim over here. You know, I might attack Perm. I don't know. Maybe. I'll consider my options. I just don't want rebels to tear me apart. That's the thing. That's what concerns me. We still have to be careful about all that. Hmm. Let me see. Let 
Let's see, Twitch chat says that I'm pronouncing Ryazan wrong. <laughs> yeah, like, I give a shit, dude. I say Ryazan. People say, it like, Ryazan, I guess, or Risen. Like, Ryazan? I don't know. I'm not really sure why pronunciation bugs people so much. It's kind of weird. <laughs> like, the way you pronounce words is, in a way, what makes you, like, who you are as a person. You know? So I'm not sure why it bugs people. Some people say it might be, like, insensitive or some shit, but I think that's, like, stupid. <laughs> you know? That's a weird argument to make. It's kind of a weird argument to make. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see here. Ooh. Hey, we get a free claim. Cool. Oh, shit. It's against Lithuania, though. Fuck. That is not what I intended. <laughs> Sorry, dude. When is this going to be done? 1519? Is our diplomatic reputation back to normal? No. When does that go away? 1504. Oh, okay. Might as well start then. That's fine. Might as well start right now. <clears throat> hey, somebody died. Let's see. Or like, oh, I remember this. In the first episodes, in the first episodes of this Novgorod campaign, I was pronouncing this. I guess, I guess it's supposed to be, like, Tiver, instead of like I was saying a Tiver, like. You know, like the human liver, just replace the L with a T. I was saying Tiver. And so people were like, dude, what's wrong with you? Like, why are you pronouncing it that way? <laughs> dude, it's like the weirdest thing ever. Like, I don't know if, if like, you should totally be a YouTuber and have people send you those comments. Like, I am serious. Be a YouTuber and have people send you those types of comments. Like, you're not pronouncing this correctly and shit. It's really, really irritating. <laughs> it's really irritating. It's kind of stupid. <laughs> Like, I'm not really sure why people think, like, I'm going to listen to them, you know? <laughs> At least when it comes to things like that. It's kind of weird. Because, like I said, when you pronounce something, it's kind of like you're, you know, there's a, there is a proper linguistic way to pronounce it, but at the same time, everybody's, everybody pronounces things differently anyway. I don't speak any Slavic languages. I don't speak Russian. So, you know, I don't, I don't really need to know how to say things correctly, you know? I, I'm even surprised that I say things like Novgorod correctly, you know? Muscovy, Kazan, or... I, I know I know some people say Kazan. Like, that, to me, doesn't sound right, right? I would not look at this K-A-Z-A-N and say Kazan. I say Kazan, you know? Because this is, like... Just those, those words in that order just don't scream out Kazan to me. Or, like, Ryazan. People say Ryazan, but I say Ryazan. You know, I don't know. It's weird. Is that weird? I don't know if I'm weird, but... That's just the way I think about that crap. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Also, somebody was telling me... <laughs> this is fucking hilarious, dude. Somebody was telling me about... About Gibraltar. <laughs> so... In British English, I'm almost fucking for sure that it's pronounced Gibraltar. Like, you have to say G with, like, a J sound, right? Gibraltar. But some people are telling me, they're like, dude, why are you saying it as Gibraltar? It's Gibraltar. You have to use it with a G. Like, the G sound, as in, like, goose. So, I was like, I pronounce it as Gibraltar, but then other people are telling me, no, it's Gibraltar. And I'm just like, dude, what the fuck? I don't even know, dude. <laughs> I don't even know the difference anymore. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> you know? It's so funny, man. It's so funny. I just say Gibraltar. It's just easier for me. Like, I actually used to pronounce it as Gibraltar, but now I just pronounce it as Gibraltar, you know? And my reasoning, my reasoning for pronouncing this as Gibraltar is because it's an, it's a Muslim word. It's an Arab word. The original name for Gibraltar is Jabal Tariq. Jabal Tariq. It means like the mountain or the summit or something like that. The king's summit or some shit. So Jabal Tariq, in my opinion, I think translates over to Gibraltar in like English, right? I don't know. In Spanish, it would be Gibraltar, you know? So I don't know. It's really funny. It's kind of strange. It's really interesting. Uh, we gotta get ahead on Admin and Diplo. When, when can we repay this? Jesus Christ. We've been trying to repay this for a while. Damn, son. 
So we can't attack his off. Well, I guess I could. Muscovy would join, though. Muscovy's guaranteeing their independence. What about Perm? Yeah, I think we kill Perm right now. Sure. Send some troops over there. Ugh. Let's take a look here. Okay. So let's let's kill Perm right now. Let's kill Perm right now. Um, we are integrating small lens, because that should be done pretty soon. 1510? Okay, that's fine. That's that's fast enough for me. Hmm. Let's see. Uh I got a question in the Twitch chat. How do you buy province in this game? As far as I know, it's over, it's down over here. You can't buy provinces, but you can sell provinces. So I can I can go to this, you know, I can go to Smolensk and oh no, you can you can't do it with anybody who's your subject. I can probably go to Poland and ask him if he wants any of my land, and he might say yes or he might say no, you know. So you can't buy provinces, but you can sell them. Somebody might offer it to you. I think that's the most you can do. Whoopsies. <clears throat> uh oh, we attacked in the mountains. I forgot. Whoopsies. Yeah, that's alright though. Oh, yeah, you bastards. We're out of manpower again. Shit, I forgot. <laughs> Uh, let's grab everybody. Okay, so we can annex Perm, and then Muscovy... Hmm. He's in debt, actually, I can see it. He's in debt right here. I'm actually, you know, I might attack with Muscov... Yeah, I might go to war again with the Muscovites, I'm wondering. What if I... I can use that to truce break, actually, and I could probably get a separate piece with Muscovy. He's probably still pretty weak. Yeah, actually, he has rebuilt up his strength a little bit. Hmm. Let's see here. I got a question to Twitch chat. Can you customize the keyboard for your Open Universe Solace 4? No, you cannot. As far well, I guess you could. You have to mod it though. You have to mod the game. You can't just go to the options and just change your key bindings even though really we sh probably should be able to <laughs> you can't you know uh hey the age of reformation from east to west this is the age of religious conviction debates and mass movements in europe protestantism is entrenched while molinarianism takes hold of iran and religious syncretism shapes indian society go cool. What if I vassalize this guy? No, you don't want to vassalize hordes. I just remembered. You do not want to vassalize hordes. They're super, super disloyal. Almost forgot about that. Oh, fuck you, Kazan. Piece of shit. Holy damn, this guy's 372 ducats? Sweet. That's nice. Let's see, we're going to get a rebel uprising. Where... Yeah, over here. Let's head on over to that way. I like this song. This song's pretty cool. Hmm. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I'll lose this ability. Shit, man, that's hurting me really bad. Let's go core these. <clears throat> we can use Russian abilities. Let's see, autonomy. You know, the, these abilities are not, like, they're not earth-shattering, but they are pretty cool, I'll admit. They are nice to have. Um... 
We're down to two mercs, huh? God damn, son. Are you kidding me, guys? <sighs> it's fucking Republican tradition. I can't really afford to buy stability that much. It's too expensive with that Republican tradition. We're paying 50% because of this tradition. Holy shit. That is really expensive, dude. That is super expensive. Damn, son. Okay. Whatever you say. Hey! Polish Conquest of Marienburg. Hmm. You know, grabbing this idea is would be pretty good. Ivan's 100. You're the Republican tradition plus 0 0.5. Because we're not forming Russia for a while. Hmm. I do need to convert stuff, too. This stability cost modifier here for church attendance duty would be pretty nice to have. Damn, man. I don't know. Hmm. I kind of want an Inquisitor for some missionary strength. It'd be helpful right about now. I can become the Orthodox Defender of the Faith. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, I don't know how much that much helps me. You know, helps me. It does it all. Okay. What's up with you guys? Separatism? We have some overextension. That's probably what's keeping them up there. Religious unity is actually kind of bad, too. Hmm. So I've got claims on Kazan. And Muscovy would join. When's that truce with Muscovy over? Oh, wow. One year from now. Okay. Well, I have a lack of admin. He's actually ahead of me in Diplo. I'm ahead of him in military, however. So... Hmm. I want to get this... I want to get this integration of Smolensk done first, before we do anything else. We're going to attack Ryzon soon. Yeah, we're going to attack the Great Horde for Ryzon here pretty soon. He's allied to... nobody. He's got no guys in Tributary State. Guaranteeing Genoa and Shirvan. That's about it. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's see, religious civil disorder in the west. Oh yeah, we're gonna get some revolts over there in Perm. Yeah. Let's go to Rostov. Let's take a look, where are you? Yeah, let's put down the unrest over here, maybe if we can. We'll see. Let's see if it's possible. At least this guy's protecting everything from separatism, which is cool. Hey, cool! Look at that, we got a free conversion of Venden. Sweet. That's cool. Bashkiria. Uh, of course. Alright, fine. We declare war for Muscovy once again. I just don't know what I would take. Probably the best of Tiver. Anything else that would sound good. We just, we have a lack of admin. That's what's concerning me. And a lack of manpower. And, well, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Let's see. <clears throat> Twitch, chat says, uh, Twitch chat says, if I need more Republican tradition, I should go to the strength in government button. But this button for 100 military power only gets you three Republican tradition, which is horrible. Hey, independence for Sweden. Independence for Sweden. 
Denmark, Lubick, Norway, Oldenburg versus Sweden, England, Novgorod, Smolensk. Cool. Independence for Sweden. Sweden. Uh, am I gonna get another revolt from Perm? I think so. Hey, you bastards. You dirty bastards. So we don't want to embrace any of these. We might embrace Orlik, though. Might not be a bad idea. We just lost our master recruiter. Let's grab another. Use version ability. Yeah, we don't want the Streltsy. We are not going to support the uh, Swedes. I'm just trying to make sure that they don't kill me. But we're not going to help them out as far as their independence war. That is not my problem. It looks like they've already done a good job of it themselves anyway. They're going to win just fine. Oh, we don't have any sailors. Oh, wow. I just realized that. Yeah, we don't get any sailors, do we? Interesting. Huh. Okay, so what are we going to do about Moscovy? Hmm. I don't know. Lack of protection. Oh, yeah. 15 Diplo is not bad. Okay, am I going to attack this guy again? You know, I might. I might. I might do it. I'm thinking, I mean, hell, man. If we're behind an admin, you know, one way or another, we're probably going to be behind. Like, let's just be fair. <laughs> you know? One way or another, we're going to be behind. Hmm. I've got plenty of troops. We could probably, we could probably smash Muscovy pretty easily. Well, actually, you know what? He's got decent amounts of men. He's got some decent... Yeah. Ooh. Really? What the fuck? <laughs> the reformed faith. The Calvinist faith has sprouted up in Cyprus. <laughs> of all places. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Wow. Alright, whatever you say. Whatever you say. That's hilarious. I think I will just reduce army maintenance. I'm I'm probably not gonna go to war until uh until I get more troops. I wanna have like a full forcement of men and full manpower before we go back to war. And we need some points, so I don't I don't think waiting around for admin or diplo is a bad idea right now. I think just hanging on to it is probably not bad. We have an election coming up in 1511. There's our integration. Whoopsies. Uh, I have a cav, huh? Perfect. Excellent. We're actually going to swap to an admin ruler now. I can change my national focus in... 1515, so I might swap over. The national focus is going to be on military points, but we're going to have a uh, an administrative ruler. If I can grab an Inquisitor, I want one too. Empire, or the Emperor is enacted in Imperial form. Cool. So Kazan, we're gonna kill you. Ryzon, I can now kill. Hmm, you know, I don't know if I'll make him into a march or anything though. I might just kill him. I guess we could probably make him a vassal. But I don't have influence anyway. Hmm. So it might not be that helpful. I don't know. Hard to say. We're making pretty decent money with a full force of them, I'm not gonna lie. 
Can I attack Riga? Mm, maybe. Muscovy still being a little son of a bitch. He's still guaranteeing Kazan. I say we attack Ryzon. We take Ryzon. Yeah, I might just make him a vassal. I can probably make him a vassal with relatively little difficulty, I think. Um, does he accept any other cultures? I don't think he does. No, he doesn't accept Mashar or anything. That'd be cool if he did, but he doesn't. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I knew they'd rise up, you bastards! <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Ooh, they're, they're tough. Probably because, uh, just the numbers of troops. What? Are you kidding me? Smolensk had raised Streltsy. Okay, alright, I guess we'll keep him then. That's fine. If he raised him, that means that my stability cost does not go up, I hope not. So, if, if he's got him raised, then I'll just keep him. Oh, you know what? No, that's not true. Look at that. Reliance on Streltsy, 12.5%. You son of a bitch, Smolensk. I knew it. Interesting. It's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting. So, so if you have, if you, if you even integrate Streltsy, it, it still hurts you. It's really weird. <laughs> that's really strange, I'll admit. We're just losing so many admin points. Holy shit. We've lost just so much. It's incredible. It really is. Uh, Pants Advancement, uh, Advancement of Religion Act. Let's start converting some stuff. If I could get an Inquisitor, man, I'm serious. I would like to. Let's grab some claims on Ryazan. Since I've got claims on Muscovy, I probably don't have to worry too much about that. Um... An everlasting victory. Denmark will grant independence to Sweden. Denmark will cede Holland, Blaking, and Gange to Sweden. Norway will cede Jamtland, Bechoslen, Upland, Finnmark, and Borgasilla. Borgasilla. Borgasisla to Sweden. To Sweden. That's cool. So Sweden's independent and he's an ally. Which. Uh. He's allied to England, too. I don't know. I guess being allied to Sweden's not too bad. I want to invade Finland, but maybe not now. Maybe a little later. Keeping this guy loyal, probably as an ally next to me, is, is probably not a bad idea. It's probably not a bad way to go. Active uniformity. Our Diplo bonus. Holy shit. We are super behind on Diplo. My god, man. That's just horrible. Let's see, I got a question in Twitch chat. Can you delete Streltsy? You can. Yeah, you can. You can delete Streltsy. You don't have to. They get 10% fire damage. Which, at this stage of the game, does not help you. Huh. Curious. So these are all states, and we can't really make them into states because it would hurt our Republican tradition even more than we're already being hurt right now. I'd like to. I'd like to. We have to wait until we become... I mean, I guess I could go Kingdom if I wanted to. But at the same time, we, we do get some instability from doing that, so... Killing Muscovy is also still kind of difficult. Hmm. These damn rebels, dude. These damn rebels. I can't even believe it. We've actually been fighting rebels quite a bit in this campaign. More than I would prefer. There are quite a few. Let's see. Bob001030 is not following on Twitch. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I think we're going to go ahead and take a quick break here, guys. Damn, we've actually done very well for ourselves, I'm not gonna lie. We've done pretty good. We just need to kill Muscovy and Ryzon, and we can probably form Russia. Yeah, we need Moscow, and we have to have either Vladimir or Nizhny Novgorod. Vladimir's right there. 
So we take like this, or we just grab that, or we kill Kazan and grab all that, and then that, we'll be fine. Okay. I will uh, I will see you guys in the next episode, so thank you so much for watching as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.